This video is part 2 of the radar plotting tutorial. In part 1, we covered how to determine the closest point of approach, time of the closest point of approach, bow crossing range, and bow crossing time. It also covered how to determine the direction of relative motion, the bearing of the closest point of approach, target relative speed, and provided an explanation of the 6 minute rule. If you are new to radar plotting course, we recommend watching part 1 before proceeding with this video. The link to part 1 is available in the description below. This video covers how to determine the target's true course and speed. It includes the necessary steps to calculate own ship's new course to steer and new speed, to avoid the risk of collision, and ensure safe navigation. Before we proceed, let's first familiarize ourselves with the following symbols. E to R represents own ship true course and speed. E to M represents the target's true course and speed. Remember that E is the origin of true motion vector and can be found at the center of the plotting sheet in this point. I will draw a line below that represents own ship vector. This line is supposed to be drawn here, but it's a little bit crowded there. The direction of the line is 345 degrees, that is own ship true course. Let's mark the beginning of the line as point E. This point is the own ship position, and R is somewhere above E. To find point R, use own ship true speed. In the 6 minute rule, if the ship has a speed of 15 knots, she traveled a distance of 1.5 nautical miles at a steaming time of 6 minutes. Or you can use this formula, distance is equal to speed, times time. Own ship speed is 15 knots, multiplied by the steaming time, which is 6 minutes, but we need to convert 6 minutes into an hour, and that is 0.1 hour, the distance is 1.5 nautical miles. But the 6 minute rule will be faster than doing the calculations. Next, measure 1.5 miles in a 12 mile range scale. Then lay the compass divider down from point E, in the direction of the ship's course, so point R will be here. This line represents own ship true vector. This vector is supposed to be here. Now we need to create a vector triangle to determine the target true course and speed. To do that, we will bring this own ship vector to the target's first plotted position. But to do this in your radar plotting sheet, bring own ship course to point R, and draw a line in a reciprocal direction to own ship course. Then measure 1.5 miles from the 12 mile range scale, which corresponds to the distance traveled by own ship, at a steaming time of 6 minutes. Then lay your compass divider down from point R, along the drawn line. Mark this point as E. If we check it with own ship vector, they are both the same. Let's bring this back. Next, connect a line from point E, to M. This line is the target true vector, which is also the target true course and speed. So this is our vector triangle. To determine the target true course, bring the triangle to the center of the plotting sheet. Determine the course in the direction of the line E to M. The target true course is 231 degrees. Next, measure the distance from point E to M. Bring the compass divider to 12 mile range scale. The distance is 2.2 .2 nautical miles. In the 6 minute rule, it corresponds to the speed of 22 knots. Otherwise, you can determine it using the formula, speed is equal to, distance divided by, time. So the target true speed is, 22 knots. From a bird's eye view, this is what the target vessel looks like, with its bow pointing in this direction. The target's true course is 231 degrees. If the radar is set to relative motion display with true vector, the target appears to move relative to own ship, with the own vessel considered fixed or stationary. In true motion display with true vector, 
This is how it looks like. All moving objects are shown moving across the radar PPI, while all fixed objects remain stationary. I have a separate video covering true and relative motion displays, as well as true and relative vectors. For full details, please check the link in the description. We have now calculated all the vital information needed. Assuming that we are in open water, and the company policy for safe passing distance in such areas is 2 nautical miles. In this case, we are in a crossing situation. Applying the rules of the road, the target ship is the stand-on vessel, and own ship is the giveaway vessel. This means it is our responsibility to alter course. But what will be the new course to steer, to maintain a CPA of 2 nautical miles? Let's assume we will alter course when the target is at a distance of 5 nautical miles. Measure 5 miles on the 12 mile range scale, then lay the compass divider down from the center of the radar plotting sheet, towards RML. Mark this point as MX, the point of execution. When the target reaches point MX, own ship will alter course to starboard, and must have a minimum CPA of 2 nautical miles. Since we are using a 12 mile range scale, the range rings on our plotting sheet represent 2 mile intervals. The first ring is 2 miles from the center or from own ship's position, followed by 4 miles, 6 miles, and so on, at 2 mile intervals. To determine the new course, draw a line from point MX towards a 2 nautical mile passing distance. This line represents the new relative motion line, NRML. If the passing distance does not pass through a range ring, use a compass divider to draw a semicircle with the passing distance as the radius, ensuring the correct placement of the new CPA. Let's bring this back to 2 mile CPA. To determine the new direction of relative motion, new DRM, Transfer the new RML to the center using a triangle, and measure its direction along the plotted line. The new DRM is, 218 degrees. Next, bring this new RML to point M, and draw a line opposite to relative motion. This line is called, Advanced Relative Motion Line, ARML. Then use a compass divider, and measure, E to R. Next make an arc intersecting the ARML. You can mark the point of intersection as, R1. Connect a line from E to R1. The direction of this line, is the own ship new course. Bring this line at the center of the plotting sheet to determine the new course, in the direction of line, E to R1. The new course to steer is, 018 degrees true. When the target reaches a distance of 5 nautical miles, at point MX, own ship should alter course to 018 degrees true, to achieve a 2 nautical mile passing distance. In some cases, where own ship cannot alter course due to some factors such as limited navigable waters, or there is an existing obstruction, she can still maintain her present course but she must reduce her speed. To determine the new speed, use a compass divider, then measure the distance from E to this point. The new speed is 7 knots. So a passing distance of 2 nautical miles can still be achieved, even if own ship maintains her present course, but she must reduce her speed to 7 knots when the target is at a distance of 5 nautical miles. That's all for now, I hope you found this video useful, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.